Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. Absolutely. The question is, what are the components of reputation? What are the things that make you reputable? First is the quality of your offering. Quality of your offering. Quality of your offering. Yes. Okay. Or your service or your product. I use offering because every human offers something. Whether you're a teacher, you're a seller, you're a boy, you're a singer, you're a dancer, you're a wrestler. It's offering. Yeah. So I don't want to say quality of your service or just what you do what you deliver, what's the quality? Quality can kill you, can destroy your reputation. Mm. Number two, what is your moral standard? Mm. Moral. What is your moral standard? Mm. Because, you know, something that can kill you and your reputation is moral. You went to sleep with another person's wife. Do money, you are involved in fraud. That's moral. Those are moral issues. Stealing, cheating, fraud, deceiving people, fraud. That's all this I captured on that moral. Yes. The thought to keep your 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 reputation. reputation is your relationship with your environment, your general stakeholder group. I use the environment to cover it. So if you have a good offering, you have good morality, and you have a good relationship with your stakeholder group, you have no problem with your reputation. Wow. wow. Now, ma 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 when can a man be said to have truly succeeded? I go back to that word. A man has truly succeeded if he believes he has accomplished his mission. Okay. However, in a general way of speaking, Again, I'm not, now I'm not talking like a Christian. Success starts with discovering your purpose okay. and then accomplishing it, achieving it. Okay. That's when the success... First, if you discover your purpose, you've achieved a measure of success. It's like saying uh, diagnosis is 50% of the solution. When somebody's sick, and I change an area, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? Everybody's worried. He made this test. One day they say he has arthritis. The person breaks down. That's a measure of success, yes. <laughs> At least I know what, what I'm suffering. So the moment you know your purpose in life, you have your, your way to success. When you now accomplish it, that's when there is full success. Success is a continuum and it changes. You know, it, it's a continuum because what is a success today may not be. But I'd like to take finally with the one, one, with the one that my friend, um, I think it's Paul, St. Paul or Peter, I think it's Paul, calls good success. Was it Paul? Who wrote, uh, that shall not, no, it was Paul or, I think it's Paul. It's Paul, when he wrote to Titus or so, you know, he called it good success. Can you imagine? <laughs> good success. What does that mean? So that's bad success. <laughs> Huh? All right. So let's go for good Be success. Good success. All right. You made your name as a pharmacist. For one to succeed, for one to excel, for one to stand out, 
as a pharmacist and in pharmacy, what must the person do? To stand out as a pharmacist, first is that you must be current in pharmaceutical sciences. You must be current updates in pharmaceutical sciences. So that is, you cannot be lacking in being at the frontier of knowledge in the profession. Because the reason why you are a little bit enjoying this discussion, that maybe I'm saying a few things that make a meaning. If you are asking me questions and I was Nakoban, <laughs> Nalazu, between the drum or the other side, you may have ended this interview before. Now. So you must have, you know, that knowledge of your profession. I jog at I succeeded as a as a pharmacist, as a rep. You know, I joined Pfizer as a rep. Yes. Part of the reason God gave me success was that I went outside the standard thing outside in Bebe. You know, the thing they were teaching us, you know, go and promote your product, tell the features, sell the benefits, blah 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 blah. I will go to the hospital. I'll go to the ward, check the patients of the doctor, like the consultant I want to see, I check his patients, see if any of them has issues, what medications are they taking, blah, blah, blah. The nurses will help me, because sometimes that's the way you do it, some kind of espionage. So I'll come to the doctor, it's take time to get to see a consultant, it's not the house officer, house officer, I invite them to my house, organize a small party, and we're having fun, and I'm playing, I'm playing there. Uh, I'm doing showing film of my products. On Monday mornings, they, they will be prescribing. But I'm talking about the consultant. So when I get this information about his patients, maybe I see one patient who has stayed longer or who's not responding. So when I go, uh, I send my card. Ah, Pfizer man, welcome. What is it? I say, I'm sorry. I, I just passed through the the uh, the ward, the male 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 medical ward. Uh, and I find that you, you have a patient who, is, who was supposed to have left the hospital since two weeks, but he's still there. Doctor, I hope you don't mind. What, what challenges are you facing? Hmm. Now I see my brother. I, I don't know. I, I, I have tried this. I've tried that. I'm wondering whether it is this or whether it is that. And I said, by the time he's talking, I said, okay, why don't you, have you considered looking at his drug rage men? You know, I, I believe that maybe he's, the problem is that either he's not taking the right dose or he has some resistance issues with that medication. Why don't you think of changing the medication? He said, what do you suggest? I'll give him some suggestion, which has nothing to do with my product. Maybe I'll mention Sandor's product or, 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 or um, Glasgow product. You know, when I finish, he is now, who oh, now asks me, Okay. What did you bring today? What What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? To do for you? Mm. Now that you have solved my own problem, problem. can I solve, I your, solve own? your own problem? It is natural. Mm. But people can say, eh, my product is better than the other one. He said, who told you? What's the evidence? <laughs> so, so, so my point is that first, you must be on top of your game. Number two, you must adopt professional ethic. Professional ethic. Again, it relates to the issue of image, I mean, uh, reputation we spoke before. Because the worst thing that can happen to a man, I mean, somebody came to complain to me yesterday, I'm doing business with him, I'm the chairman of his company, he's trying doing business with a pharmaceutical company, they rejected certain things he brought, and he was complaining about the quality manager as if he doesn't like him and all that, he says a lie. Quality manager, he does not hate you. The issue is that the 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 he that the business is running is depending on what on his job. He has no friend. So don't tell me go and tell him, I do know Maz is our chairman. I said no way. What you need to do is improve your quality. If even if he says your quality is not good today, thank God it's something he sees, it's a packaging material, he can reject it. But when you bring a better one, he'll say it's okay. So keep keep move improving. Don't tell me he doesn't like you call him. So your quality will speak for you. So the quality of service, then your ethics. Thirdly, is have what I call this penchant for deferred gratification. 
Don't sow today and reap tomorrow. Otherwise, you're going to reap prematurely an immature crop that will not neither be sweet nor will yield the nutrients and you cannot replant it. So you destroy your wealth. So be at the top of your game, be ethical and defy gratification. Learn to invest and wait, okay, for it to yield. Those things help, have helped me and I think it helps every professional. Know that what you are about to do is problem solving. Don't be part of the problem. So if I'm a pharmacist, I shouldn't create problem for my patients. I shouldn't create problem for my institution. I should always be solving problem. When you're solving problem, people will value you and they will recognize your professional uh, contribution. I've told my colleagues pharmacists, I say nobody gets, nobody begs for respect. Nobody campaigns for honor. You merit it. You work for it. Of course, there is grace, a very tough favor, but that's for God. But for you, if you want people to honor you, to respect you, you must work for it. Thank you very much, sir.